says Connor. A looping cross off the head of Malpas is turned in now by Mason. Three minutes from half time. Paul Mason, who's had an outstanding first half, gets the opening goal. Well, it was the cross which caused the confusion. Malpas is challenging that it skidded off his head. Mason coming in on the far corner of the box with a header and Thompson couldn't keep it out. Entered left foot cross. And there's the right one. Bet at the far post. Bet can't get his head to it. The ball dropping, bouncing about in the penalty area. Here's Mason. Mason gets in. And it's a goal for Aberdeen. It's number two. Some more dreadful defending from Dundee United. And Aberdeen cash in quite beautifully. Mason scores. Well, you have to fault the United defence there. The ball was up in the air. Nobody went for it. It bounced in the area. Paul Mason flicked it with his head and flicked it with his foot. 2 0. Woods playing it across here. They're looking for the line in. And the header came for Paul Mason. A smile on the face of the Englishman as he powers home on his fourth kill of the season. Tension drawn to Patalainen and Ian Baird can do nothing about that. Paul Mason on the end of the walk clearance. Aberdeen building again. Van der Ark, good head flick. Paul Mason racing in after it. Does well, wins the ball. Mason must score. And Mason does score. Patrick Thistle looking for a free kick for that sliding challenge. The referee said no. And it's five for Aberdeen. Well, Paul Mason kept at it there. It was the Van der Ark knocked down. Mason never gave up. Jim Kerr thought that was a foul on him. The referee said no. Mason picked himself up, dusted himself down, and scored. Third one, Alec McLeish. Well, no flag going up against Mason inside the penalty area. A tremendous goal by Paul Mason. 54 minutes down here at Parkhead. And that is a special goal, not just for Paul Mason, but for Aberdeen, because that is the 100th league goal the Dons have scored here at Celtic Park. Mason driving it under Pat Connor. And it's Celtic nil, Aberdeen won. Again, you get a respite from Aberdeen attacking, but it isn't a very long respite. Well, that's a superb pass inside. Look at this, Nicholas, he must go himself, and does, and that'll be the opener, yes. Very good opener there by Paul Mason. Great play by Aberdeen, a beautiful one to Nicholas, one hit to go himself, almost got it through, and Mason came in, drilling in the first one. Nice little turn there by Jess. Skewers on the far side, he gets the knock down there. This is Richardson laying it off to Mason. Oh, great goal by Paul Mason. 65 minutes gone. It's Aberdeen 3, Hearts 2. Great play by Ian Jess, a lovely little turn there. Shearer got the knock down. It was laid off then by Richardson, and what a finish by Paul Mason. Irvin made a very good tackle and a good pass out of defence. Here's Paul Mason. Booth on the right touchline. Jess going through the inside right channel. Leaving a gap for Mason to exploit going inside. And that's a magnificent goal for Aberdeen. Paul Mason out for so much of the season through injury. Produces his third goal of the season. I just look at the pot played by Ian Jess. Dragging Alan McLaren wide. Making the space for Mason to go to the right-hand side of Dave McPherson and the finish was perfection. Just look at that space opened up there by Jess with the run. Mason realised what that was about. McPherson allowed Mason to go there and that ball passed into the stanchion area by Mason beyond Henry Smith. Mason takes the corner. Brown with a free header. 
Abel. Irvin is in there again, and it's gone all the way through. For goal number two, Paul Mason. Off the way he went for that. Nicholas again. That's very useful indeed. Oh, that's a goal. Yes. Mason. Beautifully set up by Nicholas. And the Hibs defence looked very flat indeed. Watch the way it was nudged forward there by Nicholas. Not at all an easy ball, and the youngster did very well to touch it with head, and then more lethally by... ...with a free kick. Van der Ark helped it on, there's right. Van der Ark to Connor. Far post cross. Great chance for Aberdeen, it's Paul Wright. Two minutes from the interval. Beautifully constructed goal for Aberdeen. A long free kick started off. No ball forward, Van der Ark got his head to the ball. He then wins this ball from Sterling. Now look at the quality of the cross from Robert Connor. Right across the far side, Paul Mason coming in. Picking out Paul Wright, who couldn't miss from point blank range. And it was worth waiting for. Jim Bett in possession. A good run through the midfield. Cutting it to the left, to Paul Mason. He picked his spot. Rhodes had no chance. 3 0 to Aberdeen, who moved within three points. Grant's head flick. So Murren a bit untidy at the back. And here's Paul Mason. Can he make it 3 1? He can. The Englishman. But eight minutes.